Hello everyone, welcome to this special March Madness themed edition of uh, Social You Should Know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're very professional here. Uh, so uh, today we are going to be talking about two things. The first off is Twitter and rumors that they are going to be getting rid of some very important things. Yeah, there's uh, headlines this week with Twitter's going to kill the hashtag and Twitter's going to kill the at reply. And I think people like to use the word kill more than perhaps they should. Yeah, I, I think like the new Facebook killer comes right. out every other month. Right. Well, it gets it's good link bait, right? Yeah. But what really is it seems to be what they're alluding to in Twitter is that um, the the hashtag is still a great way for telling people what you're talking about without explaining. I am watching the Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> you know, it takes up a lot of your 140 characters. But if if we if we put the hashtag in when we're typing and it just shows up as a bolded word, that would save us all a character. And it would be a good thing. It would just be built into the system. And then, you know, the newbies would say, how do you make one of those bold things? Um, but it would it would be effective. And I think the retweet is similar. They, they've already done that to the retweet. Right, exactly. Integrating it natively within right. the application. Right. Uh, I guess my... I'm, I'm completely fine with getting rid of at replies because I think they're just confusing and people who are not familiar with it are like, okay, so if I want to say at something do i write at or i just put the ad symbol right. or so i'm okay with that but i feel like the hashtag has become so iconic e even like more it's more well known than than twitter's logo yeah you know and i think to get rid of it is it's just kind of weird it is a little weird but both um uh, both the hashtag and the at reply were invented by users not by twitter themselves and twitter at first really objected to the hashtag thought it was geeky and weird and then later built in at least the functionality to, to search by hashtag and to click on hashtags but originally you had to go over to surmise if you remember before twitter bought surmise and use the search engine to use the hashtag so they didn't originally incorporate it but now i think what they're saying is okay so we've got uh, x million users i don't know what it is today but to really make this make this twitter thing ubiquitous we have to ease it, make it easier for people make it less confusing when new people come in and the whole at reply and when to use an at and when to use a hashtag, that is one of the early questions that new people ask. So we'll see how they do it. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, the next topic uh, deals not with the present, but with the future. Yes. Uh, some Pew Research uh, has looked uh, all the way to 2025 uh, and uh, have given a pretty educated guess as to what our digital lives will look like. Yeah, they, they talked about that, and I should, Ryan Sweeney would kill me if I didn't note that Elon University co-sponsored this research with Pew Internet. Uh, one of our anal analysts. Yes, uh, shout Elon, out to Elon yeah, and to Ryan. Elon grad. Um, but the, the thing I took from it as a social person is how, how important social will be to our digital lives. And what Pew is saying is this is not going away. In fact, if anything, it's gonna be so easy to give your opinion, whether that's on a Yelp review or a tweet or whatever platform we're using in 2025, that it'll be ubiquitous. It'll be weird not to uh, be publishing all the time. And if that's true, I think that's good for people who do what we do for a living, which is social media marketing. Exactly. So if you thought this was going to be a fad, shame on you. <laughs> yeah, MySpace, yeah, fad. Yeah. Maybe Facebook, maybe Twitter, who knows? Snapchat, we may be laughing about those things in 2025, but we're going to be using something. And as brands, they're going to be talking about us. So as brands, we need to be able to respond and to leverage these and to encourage these and to aggregate the good ones and all those things. So, you know, people say, you know, social media marketing is going to be ubiquitous, so we don't need any social media marketers. It's like writing. We don't need an expert on writing. I mean, you, don't, you get paid to be a writer, <laughs> this right? Is, this is true. So, yes, everyone can use social media, but that doesn't mean there shouldn't be and there won't be experts who are very, very good at this and very, very good at leveraging it for marketing. And so, to me, it was a very encouraging. Yeah, exactly. I think once you open the floodgates of uh, users being able to talk directly to brands, you just you can't close it. Right. Because you think just because if Facebook gets boring for some people, they're going to not want to rant when they get a bad steak or something, it's, yeah. that's very unlikely. Yeah, they'll, yeah, they'll do it somehow. Uh, well, that does it for this week. Go uh, Duke. <laughs> and go Heels. Uh, we'll see you again next week.